Hello, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com. Uh, we're here today to talk about rigging a human in Lightwave 3D version 10.1. Uh, we've just released a really cool video for rigging a human type character, a biped character, as you can see right here. Um, the course is about 14 hours long and it covers a whole range of techniques for rigging a human. It shows you how to set up a full skeletal structure, um, weight maps, IK system, um, uh, easy to grab control nulls to make your character easy, much more easily to pose. We, we set up an IK in the leg. We even show how to set it up in the uh, upper body as well. Upper body you can use for an IK or um, inverse kinematics or IK in the upper bo upper body okay and it's not to say that you can't use uh, forward IK in the legs either um, but anyways we show how to set all that stuff up we show how to uh, tweak the model in case there's uh, any problems along the way uh, we show how to uh, make modifications to, uh, to the actual po polygonal structure for better deformations that type of thing um, as you can see here we have a a little character that uh, that we rigged and and posed in a little bit of a, a martial arts punching position and a reverse punch uh, position. Um, all this stuff was set up, you know, very easily with um, using our uh, control nulls here, placing the foot um, with very minimal effort. Um, we uh, made uh, modifications to make it so that uh, the legs don't don't tear apart when they move. Um, we show uh, uh, muscle flexing and that type of thing as well. So there's a lot of stuff that we have covered. You can see a full um, down here. If you look down here, we have a huge uh, table of contents that actually shows all the different uh, topics that are covered while setting this up. So there's no uh, there's no stone unturned, as to say. We show the full process of doing the whole uh, rigging of the character from uh, from A to Z. Okay, as you can see here, we have a skeletal structure. Uh, we show how to set up the uh, the hand structures, lining up the bones with the uh, the edge loops, okay, of the uh, character's hands. Um, we show how to do pre-bending in the uh, joints, in the uh, elbows and the knees, so that IK works better. Um, and uh, we show a lot of the uh, different tools. You can see the joint move tool here, um, sort of in the process. Uh, one of the uh, it's one of the snapshots. Um, we show how to rig the eyes. Um, very, very. It's a very easy process. We show how to use weight maps to make sure that the uh, the uh, the eyes don't uh, start mushing around when you turn the bones. We show how to connect to connect the eyes properly to the head so that when you move the head the eyes don't start flopping around and like I said the proper use of weight maps so that when you bend your head that the face doesn't uh, um, deform or fold in on itself and that's a problem that a lot of beginners have when they're first trying to set up uh, uh, their their characters uh, the heads and the eyes um, so as you can see here we have the, uh, the knee bent sort of hard to see the elbows here right now but as you can see here we have that that, that pre-bend in the elbow and uh, yeah you can see the pre-bend also in the uh, upper body here as well um, so we show uh, we show like I said how to set this up so that it's easy as possible and then you can apply this to your other characters uh, we also show that you can actually um, take a another model and reuse the skeletal structure, or take the uh, um, the actual the actual current model, make adjustments to it in Modeler, save it out as a new file, and then re-import it um, back in again. And you won't lose the the actual skeletal structure, so it's very handy. So if you have a similar character, instead of having to re-model, uh, or sorry, having to redo all the skeletal structure and all the setting up um, a lot of the uh, the bone parameters and so on and so forth um, you can very easily reuse a skeletal structure 
And uh, so, anyways, it covers a lot of a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, if you want to know where to find this, um, just go to learn3dsoftware.com. This is our front our home page, and uh, down at the uh, bottom left corner here, and you can see right across we have a, a full line of other uh, software packages as well. Um, if you want to learn about Lightwave, just click on Lightwave, and you'll have a full listing of all the different Lightwave videos uh, available. Uh, we usually put the most recent ones stacked at the top. As you can see below it, we have Lightwave 10 Animation Essentials Volume 1. Um, that's another interesting one that we just released uh, for those of you who are just beginning Lightwave. Okay, so we just click on Rigging a Human, and there we go. Okay, so that's all the time we have for now. Um, hopefully, uh, if you need any use for that, you'll come visit us at learn3dsoftware.com. So this is uh, Adam Gibson signing out.